Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, as you can see, I'm here standing in front of Nuka K because today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a few easy ways to get some tickets. Uh, so far I haven't done a whole lot in the game because there's been a lot coming out, especially on the day that this came out. There was a lot coming out and I've been busy playing everything and uh, fortunately as much as I want to play this, it's been like the least thing I've played. But here I am. <clears throat> I'll have to show you guys some tips on how to get some uh, tickets real fast. Uh, I haven't received any rewards from it yet, um, but I did find some tricks to get some help on some of the arcade games because honestly playing them the normal way is quite difficult, especially to beat the high score. So I'm really going to step in here and show you guys some tips. Alright, so when you first come in, you're probably going to be introduced by this guy who uh, talks about the place and how he fix all the machines and everything. You can barter with him, he'll sell you some stuff, you can sell him some stuff, and he'll also give you your first token, unless you've come across one on the ground or in a trash barrel, which is where I've usually found my tokens and tickets. Uh, first one here, my high score currently is 8800, and I've really only tried it once. This one isn't really one you cheat on. I mean, it gives you a pistol here that you can use. I don't use that. I was using the Deliverer, personally. Um, you could use something more fully autic yeah, automatic um, to make it probably easier, but I have yet to test out whether or not accuracy has an effect on your score. So we're just going to start a game up here, and we're just going to try and hit all the targets. They do come out pretty slow, so it's not really that difficult. And it is back and forth. It's only these two corners. I guess that's okay. I guess I beat my high score, though. Somehow. Alright, so I'm assuming accuracy does not actually have an effect on it. But, as you can see, 95.50, you could probably get better. And 925 tickets. So... This is definitely the best payout for any of the mini games in this entire arcade. That is for sure. The uh, equivalent to Whack-A-Mole. And now you can find on the ground the Kami Whacker, which I'm assuming is uh, what you're supposed to... Oh, that's actually a combat knife. I didn't notice that. That's probably faster than this. Now, for the start, it's not all that bad. Oh, okay, yes it is. As you see, we only got 1,100 and 36 tickets. Now we're going to try out the combat knife, because I didn't know it was sitting there. I obviously assumed that a fast swinging melee weapon would obviously go better than that thing, but... Oh, this is already much better. We're just spamming that, oh gosh. And we still couldn't get that high score of 2200. And pull out our nice deliverer once again. We're gonna try this again. At first, I wasn't sure whether or not this would actually count. But, sure enough, it does. Probably about to be worse than that. Almost did worse than the combat knife on that one. You know what? I give up on this machine. On to the next game. We got the Hoop Shot basketball game. And the first thing I did, uh, well, the first thing I thought of was let's take all the balls and put them all on one machine. Now, how this works is you pick up the ball by holding A and you hold X to throw it further the holder, the longer you hold X. You gotta, oops, I held X first. Try to toss it in the hoop. Hitting the rim sometimes counts for points and sometimes missing counts for points. But no real arcade is a real arcade without buggy machines, right? But as you can see, I mean, I'm sure you can get a better score than me with it while do, doing that. But I only got a score of 1,400. My high score is 4,700. So let's try out the better way of doing this. Toss in the token. Hop on up. Grab a ball and just keep going up and down. Can we get 5,000? Yeah. Oh, my thumb. There we go. 5,300. And we get 374 tickets. So, even while using 
If you ask me, the best method on that, you still don't get anywhere near as many tickets as the shooting range. Now, for this one, it's a little harder um, for uh, than like the basketball, but it's kind of the same idea for the most part. Put our token in. Balls come out of here. Uh, now you come up here. This one gives you the most. No, I don't want that one in there. There we go. That hole gives you the most points. Obviously, you can take your time. You don't have to rush. Make sure it gets in the hole. Yep. Ten. Okay, so you get ten balls. And for the maximum score, 585 tickets. So basically, don't play any other games other than the shooting range. Unless you really suck at aiming. Um, because this one definitely pays out the most. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the... I forgot about one. Forgot about one. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. We've got the... Uh, I don't even know what to call this thing. Okay, here we go. Nuka Zapper Race. We're going to start it up. Now, I don't think you have to be all that precise with this one. I don't think you have to hit it right in the center. With every shot. Yeah, it's pretty hard with the recoil on this freaking water zapper gun. Uh, I think I'm already at the top, but I'm just maybe playing it safe. That one, we got 3,100, and we won the race. And for tickets... 172. Still, same verdict. I'll only play this. And for the purpose of making it clear, we're gonna go another round on this. See how many tickets we get. What score we can get. I'm also not sure whether or not hitting the target gives more points or not. Okay, you can't hit it down the first shit either. Once again, I'm sure a fully automatic weapon would probably be a better idea. Or something with a higher magazine size. Focus mode. Oh. Oh. That we count. Eight hundred ninety-six, but I had zero tickets when I came in because I already redeemed them. I don't know where it puts them under. Nuka K tickets. So that entire time we got ourselves three thousand one hundred seventy-eight tickets inside of like not a long time. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I will try and shorten it if I can, and uh, hopefully I will have some more videos up. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for coming around.